Hey guys, welcome back to another video and hopefully, if I can be asked, a new series called Real Football Transfers. I know you'd normally do this sort of bullshit on Football Manager, however, nah, I'm going to try and stick to what I vividly know and try and do Scottish teams. As you can see, we're doing Motherwell because is your mother well? No! Motherwell is shite! Uh, I also have a quick message for Motherwell fans uh, on Twitter. This is for you. You need to shut the fuck up! Half of you bastards complaining have never seen your team win anything. And you are acting as if you've been hard done by to fuck. For what reason, I don't know. But yeah, uh, basically the premise of this video is me making changes to the Motherwell team. Believe it or not, I do have a Motherwell fan that's been telling me the ins and outs, so I do have a, a fairly decent idea of what I should be doing and what he believes should be done. So this is this is coming from a Motherwell fan. Just saying. Do not fucking come at me with any of your moans and groans. I understand it's FIFA, so it's like quite far from reality, but I'm going to try and make the signings I make very realistic to what the team sits at now, because they're what, ninth in the league, uh, they're drawn 19 points with fucking Dundee United, and are only 3 points off the bottom with Ross County, whom they play on Saturday, Kina from Sligo Rovers, as a lot of Well fans know, he scored a couple goals in the year, I believe, one or two, I can't remember. He's also been the League of Ireland's top goal scorer. I think maybe for one or two years, I'm not entirely sure. So I've got rid of Joseph Efford. Uh, I was informed that he's not really here for the long haul, so I don't really know, but Efford's gone. We sold Barry Maguire because I was informed that he's only 24, however, 24, 25. However, he's just not good enough. You'd think he'd be playing first team regular by now, and he simply isn't. So, Barry Maguire, cheery by now, you shite. Rid of fucking injury prone Jake Carroll, who's been injured for like 15 years. Get the fuck, you shite, get it. We got rid of Connor Shields because I see him getting absolutely slated consistently by Motherwell fans because he's. How do I put this? Uh, he's shite. We've got another signing for Ireland and Ali Coot used to play with Dundee United. Again, experience in the Scottish League. Also, he's played regularly for Bohemians. A lot of people don't see it as great competition, but they'll still sign players for the National League. So I don't know what the fuck you want. All I'm saying is, if Dundee can sign Stephen Colker, Motherwell have a definite chance to sign him. Again, my thinking is, if Dundee can sign a man like that, especially after he's just had a nightmare in Turkey where he's ripped up his center battery contract, he's recently just signed with Championship Strugglers Wigan, I think it's possible in some reality that Stephen Cocker would sign with Motherwell. Now, I don't know what's going on with Louis Moult, obviously, in real life, if you don't fucking know, his Loan was cut short due to injuries, Burton said, fuck you. Um, I don't know if this is realistic, Motherwell signing him on a permanent, I am not entirely sure. If Stevie Hamill wanted to keep the fans on side, they'd bring, he'd, he'd bring Milt back in. Our last signing, our very, very odd last signing, I must say, um, we got Robert Snodgrass for Nathan McGinley and 180k which is a fucking bargain like that is an absolute fucking bargain they didn't want Spittle uh, they wanted McGinley uh, even though Spittle was worth more so aye Alright everyone, this is the Motherwell team I've got, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I just want to preface everything I'm saying, 
all the players I've signed right now are worth, like literally two days ago, were free agents uh, or at the start of the year only had a year left on their contract. Aiden Keener, one year left. Cole was a free agent. Peter Hartley was a free agent. Ali Coote's got a year. Fucking, you know, Snodgrass has got two, I think. He might have one or two years. I don't know. Louis Moult's contract might diminish soon. So he might be a player that pops up. Realistic signings. I mean, Snodgrass was in talks. Could have went. Probably chose the right choice for him. Oh, well, semi January, see where we are and see how the team's doing. Uh, there's a slight changes to the team and whatnot, but we'll get into that and we'll see how we're doing in the league. Uh, we are currently fifth in the league and three points ahead of Dundee United, who are just below us. It's kind of funny because in real life, <laughs> Dundee are just below us. But we're like 500 years away from Rangers and Celtic. No surprise there. As you can see, going by the player's stats, the top scorer we have is Eden Keener, which is pretty decent. And then below him, for some reason, is fucking Snodgrass, but alright. And then Blair Spittle, for some reason, again, I, I can't preface this enough. I don't know why no one in all the clubs in FIFA, they don't want Blair Spittle. Because what I would do, if he wasn't fucking here, I'd buy Matthew Penny on a permanent you know, or extend his loan for six months, because I'm sure that's what Motherwell are trying to do, so that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'll play like one or two games at the end of the season and see where we finish. Right? Class. Quality. Yum yum yum. So, as you can see, we finally, fucking finally, got rid of Blair fucking Spittle. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. We've done a swap deal for Duncan Watmore and 45k. So aye, we're going to go and play this game against Aberdeen. It's going to be a struggle because career mode difficulty has been tweaked. Also, the gameplay has been tweaked. So it's weird and just, it's really goofy to play now. It's just not the same. So, aye. Right, everyone. We'll get into these Aberdeen bastards. Money well, as you people say. So for Motherwell, disappointment last time out. They lost in the game against Rangers. How oh, we're going to beat off Rangers. Aye, right, what did you expect? Well, you fucking fanny. Oh, my goodness. Right, Magabte is Magabe. Magabe, get him! That's it. I love Snodgrass. I really do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That was fucking horrific. Go on, Tina. up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, bastard. Oh, my, I didn't say a word because I was a bit of guaf minute. Oh, you bastard. You dirty rat bastard. Oh, no. Jesus. Stevie. Stevie. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Mr. Murray. Oh, Steven, you fucking dick. Oh, duck. Get the fuck. That's fine. Two club man. Oi! I'll take it. How far out am I? 46 yards on oh, no. What is this? Ah, knuckle. Go on. Oh! <laughs> it's fucking snotty! How the fuck did that go in? I'm, I, for some reason, I didn't register right away. Like, I, I, my brain melted. I didn't fucking... Eh? Well, let's have look. Hold on a fucking, fucking minute. Oh, look at that. That is fucking beautiful. Get up and abandon ye, you sheep shagging bastards! Try his luck here. <gasps> oh! Oh! You bastard! So, guys, that brings us to the end of our realistic signings with Motherwell. Um, if I had to give my final thoughts, I'd say a lot of the signings are made are they're genuine. They can happen, and you know. 
they, they, they could happen. I think, obviously, the outsiders would clearly be Snodgrass and Colker. Even though Colker was just a free agent, Peter Hartley was just a free agent recently. Look at the footage of the Hibernian game. Um, even with players that gets praised, such as Liam Kelly and Matthew Penny, um, there's a clear, clear, a very glaring obvious that the defence is just all over the place. Um, surprisingly, obviously, arguably Motherwell's best defender, uh, Beavis Mugabe, is injured. And that must, you know, it, it must obviously play a massive factor in what happens. But, I mean, y y your defence shouldn't have, like, Paul McGinn was way up the park. Matthew Penny was sometimes known to be seen. And at, at the end of the day, he is a defender. He isn't, he's not an attacker, so he has to be in the right positions. Uh, Solemn just couldn't get in front of Nesbitt or in the right spot. Lamy was sometimes nowhere to be seen, and same with McGinn. Um, the only criticism I'd give Liam Kelly after his performance against Hibbs would be he couldn't save a shot at his near post. Uh, he had his near post covered and yet was flat-footed and just, just missed the ball. Like, it, it, when the ball came in, he didn't even make... It wasn't as if he was moving toward the centre of the goal. He wasn't. You know what I mean? He was stationary. So, I don't know... I don't know what the, that was. That could have saved Motherwell, you know, a, a point. That could have got Motherwell a point if he somehow could have saved that, which I think, looking at the footage, he could have. I think he could have saved that. Um, but yeah, anyhow, any hooser. Uh, this has been my realistic signings. I do think Motherwell, in real life, it's not attackers they need because, again, I think Kevin Van Veen gets a bad rap albeit he's got 12 goals in all competition. You know, there's not... He, he is literally, like, the fourth best striker in the league going off goals. You know what I mean? And games played. Like, he, he is one of the better strikers in the league. And I, 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 my mother well friend said it's because we've got no other strikers. I'm like, well, if you see how he's performing and the goals he's putting in, do you need other strikers? You know... Don't you just maybe need to tighten the defence a bit? Change the formation. Give him a partner to work off of. That's exactly what you need today. But Stephen Hamill, uh, as, as bamboozling as it is, isn't doing that. So to Whale fans, the best thing I can say, the best advice is good luck because you're certainly going to need it.